interesting topic yes uh, it's uh, support and resistance yeah the basic of trading i would say <coughs> and uh, yes uh, before we start of course the risk disclaimer yeah if you have good questions regarding the risk disclaimer after the webinar we will show you the uh, email address where you can contact us anytime and uh, yes regarding the risk disclaimer we don't take any liability no orders to buy or sell from our side good trading support and resistance i would say the basic of all trading the content today will be just uh, find resistance levels mm -hmm. and second the support levels mm -hmm. this is just a small part from our course page yeah and uh, if you wanna if you wanna see the whole course on from our course page I copied and pasted the link here, and uh, they can they can look and go through anytime. If we go to the whole chapter, this would take I think a half day. No, oh, maybe more. So, but maybe more. Okay. Maybe as the begin at the beginning, so it's very very important to understand support and resistance. I would say almost ninety percent of all strategies are related or based on support and resistance. And if you don't understand support and resistance, then I'm pretty sure you will not have any success in trading. Really. Absolutely right, yeah. Absolutely right. Absolutely right, Matthias. Good. In support and resistance levels, we got two methods, yeah. The first one is uh, place your long trades on the support level and your short trades on the resistance level. Place your trades when the price breaks the support or resistance level. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Sounds very simple, but most of the people got difficulties there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately. So I had a, uh, a student last week, and he is with us since almost two years, but he doesn't take it so serious. So he has still some problems and issues with finding support and resistance and i think we fixed this is this issue finally yeah <laughs> you can use it in any time frame yes yes okay good so we uh we will show you some examples from charts if you've got uh, <clears throat> questions regarding this or during the webinar just use the chat screen we will uh, answer this as soon as possible mm -hmm. good i have an eye on the it. first one is fine yeah, you get an iron. They're very good. <laughs> so the first one is uh, find resistance levels. Place a line on the chart and move it down the first resistance level that you find. You can see here, here on the right side. Uh, on the first line drawn at top of the chart that you will move down. Second is price level that you will move the line down to. And three, the green shaded area is identifies the first resistance level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a very simple example. I think in this case, it's euro dollar, yeah? Yeah, it's euro dollar. Yeah. And in general, I think it's a pretty simple method. So it's not rocket science to find support and resistance. The only secret I can tell you is maybe don't looking for it. It has to be jumped in your face and then it's correct. Yeah, yeah, absolute. But uh, you need a lot of practical experiences there. Mm -hmm. In trading. So place a second line on the chart and move it down below the current line you already have on the chart until you find the next resistance level as the following chart shows. The first one line drawn at the top of the chart that you will move down. Second, the first resistance line <coughs> that you have drawn. Third, uh, price level where you will move your line down to. And four, the green shaded area highlights the second resistance level. As you can see this here in this chart. Mm -hmm. And and then the next uh, one is uh, to find the third one. Uh, line drawn, yes, continue to place resistance levels on your chart until you reach the current market price. Yeah, first one, line drawn at the top of the chart that you will move down. Second, first resistance line. Third, second resistance line. And four, price level you have moved the line down to. And five, the green shaded area shows the third resistance level. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. <laughs> very very yeah yeah it's really really simple so let's move to the other side to find the support lines yeah so uh work your way up from the bottom and place support levels place a line on the chart and move it up to the first support level that you find you can see it here on the right side of the chart the first one a line drawn at the bottom of the chart that you will move up to first support level where the line has been moved up to and three 
Red shaded area shows the first support level. There you can see the C on the chart. Yeah, and then finding the second support level, place another line on the chart and move it up to the next support level. New line drawn that you will move up. You can see it on the first line. Second, first support line. And third, second support level where you move the line to. And four, red shaded area shows the second support level mm -hmm. so you can and this is i think a very good example so in general or ideally you have several touching points at the same level and you can see this here pretty clear so we have now uh, i would say almost three actually two touching points so the first one is at the number of green three and the second one is at the four so you have two touching points at this uh, course level and this is a quite mm -hmm. good uh, support level. No sound for me. Let's okay. see. Has somebody else this problem? So please tell us. Can you hear us both pretty clear or not? Ganesh is writing. Yeah, I think there's a positive message, but let's wait. No sound. No sound. Dennis Kaur. Works for me. Works for me. Okay. Works for everybody. And of course, the recording is, is working uh, fine. So you can watch it later. Sorry for that. But yeah, we don't. Yeah, have we will. Yeah, we will upload these as soon as possible. I think later tomorrow on you on our YouTube channel. If you are mm -hmm. uh, if you are following our YouTube channel, you will be automatically informed and then you can then you can see it and watch it once again. Of course, with the sound. Mm -hmm. I will take care of it. Good. Ali Amali is typing. Let's see if he asks something. Okay, for him works also. Okay, good. But uh, the webinar is recorded and uh, you will get the chance to see it once again. So let's come to the last page and uh, to the last support level and continue to place support levels until you reach the current market price. First, new line at the bottom that you will move up to a new resistance level second line first support line third second support line it's very difficult you know <laughs> and fourth third support level that you will move to the line two five and six red shaded areas shows the third support level there you can see five mm -hmm. and six these are this is the third support level yeah yeah and if you want to know in general how to how to do the entries or the exits uh, just click on the link which I've pasted in the chat screen, and then you can see the, in the whole course uh, how it, you know, how you can use it for the practical trading. Is it okay, Matthias? Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. So <laughs> a little bit of track, but now I'm fully available. You're okay, very good. Yeah, that was the last page. Uh, we showed you today the resistance and the support levels, how you draw in the chart. Yeah. And uh, if you have got uh, further questions or more questions, just contact us here on this following email address, support at And uh, there you can contact us anytime. There you can reach us both, it's Matthias and myself. And I would appreciate if you can send us also some suggestions about different topics, yeah, uh, what you're interested for, and then we can work it out. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, uh, I, I would like to mention it again. So you can use support and resistance on every single time frame. So from weekly, one monthly, daily, hourly, minute chart, everything. So it works on every time frame. And I would say maybe this is a good homework to, to practice this every day. So look for some charts and draw the support and resistance line. And if you need some feedback, for example, then you can send us a message to support at trademo.com. Yeah, and I can, I can tell you, every trading You is, can uh, become a, a premium member then, of course, it's part of the educational program. Yes, yes, to become a premium member, you will get more and detailed information, of course. And uh, for example, uh, every trading system like MT4, for example, uh, they are the re to draw the resistance and support levels, uh, all of them are available. Mm -hmm. Just check it out. Yeah. yeah. But if you have good questions, Send us an email, support at tradimo.com. I would appreciate after the webinar to take a little bit of time to rate this webinar, yeah, if that, if that was good or not. And uh, yes, I would appreciate if you could send us, of course, uh, suggestions for new different topics. Yeah, yeah. that would be awesome. <laughs> 
because we are repeating okay. these things every three months. <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. If you don't have any questions, uh, the next webinars are shown on our Trading homepage. Just attend on it, and uh, I hope to we'll see you soon again. Yeah. See you soon. Have a nice evening, guys. See you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.